I bet that woke you all up. That'll teach you to sit at the back of the armchair. Welcome to another edition of Totally Awesome Fishing. And this time I'm going to be telling you about catching pike on light tackle. So light, you're not going to believe it. I'm not talking line strength, I'm talking rod test curves. Let me show you what it's about. A lot of fishing rods are measured by what's called test curves. A test curve is how much the rod takes to bend from the vertical here, round, flat like that, so it's straight, which is like 90 degrees, easy. Now some of the pike rods are monumentally strong. They are like two pound test curves, two and a half pound test curves. I've even heard of three pound test curves. I don't know why, I mean, what is he trying to cast out? They're a donkey or what? So I'm gonna show you, show you here exactly what I'm using. These are little mini spin rods, very, very ultra light. They throw, wait for this, fractions of an ounce, and I'll show you just how little and just how much you can pull, even with a light spinning rod like this. Right, now what I've done is I've taped this rod, so it's vertical up this, this pillow, which I know is one of my posts, and I put it in myself so I know it's exactly vertical. And that goes right up here vertical like this. And then at the rod top, we're gonna to take it over right angles and I'm gonna measure it for you and you'll see exactly what the test curve of this rod's gonna pull. Right, now you measure the test curve of a spinning rod, or any rod in fact, with a spring balance. I've got a loop tied in the end of it. And you just pull it over until it makes that right angles there. So I'm gonna put the loop in, put the balance on it, Bear in mind this throws fraction of an ounce, it's a tiny, tiny little rod, and I'm going to pull it till this makes a right angle, which is there, okay? Then you come down here, and you read off the spring balance, and that is reading just over three quarters of a pound. That's a tiny rod like that. Now I can go further, and I'm pulling two pounds, which is quite a lot for that rod. Before the drag kicks in a bit further, before the drag goes, the drag is just going, of two and a half pounds okay now what happens here is on all glass rods they're made of fiberglass whatever they're made of when you when you put it over it actually goes elliptical now if you pull the rod back at an acute angle like this it's going to break it's going to snap here so don't pull too hard you can set your spring balance to say two pounds on this rod and so the drag just comes off and you know you're not ever going to break the rod even with sudden ones the reel's going to take the strain drag's going to slip you're safe so you can set it with a spring balance okay that's one thing but if you want extra power you must keep the rod low and that's what i'm going to show you how to do now instead of pulling way back here like bending the rod really acutely that will snap round about there in a foot section you can almost double the pressure more than two pounds but you must keep the rod low and alter that oval shape, you don't want it too acute. You do that by winding down on the fish, keeping it very, very low, and that will increase. You can see the needles moving on the balance. And I can tell you, I've, I've, I've done this previously, before the drag goes, four pounds, can you believe that? I'm pulling four pounds there with this baby spinning rod. So there you go, I've got an even lighter one to try today. That's enough of all the gobbledygook and tackle talk. You know how to set this now with the spring balance and the drag, so you're never gonna break your line. If you're using 10 pound line, any sudden shot, and you know you're safe on the drag, and the maximum you're pulling is two. If you want to upload it, just keep the rod down low, palm the small, and pull back with it very, very low like that. You will almost double that pressure. Let's go fishing and see if these rods really do catch anything. Well, I've, I've never actually fished on this uh, this bank down here before, so I'm going to give it a shot. River's low, it's back into the season, very, very mild. Not even a slight tinge in the, in, in the water there, it's not too bad at all. But I'm on the inside of a great big bend here, down by the golf course. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to start with the tawny spinning rod, I'm not going to use that spiral one yet. So I'll give it a shot with this. Sprats. Little light reel. I'm almost frightened to put it in the water because I'm sort of not sure what to expect down here at through. I get some big old pike sometimes, there's every chance. Although I want to catch and show you, say, a three three or four pounder on this rod. There might be a chance on one quite a bit bigger. Right, here we go. There is the bait. Good old sprat. A single hook at the front here. A VB hook there, so it's just sticking up. And I quite fancy the back of this bush. There's a nice little pull through here, and there's some weed, it's very, very slow. If there's not a pike in there, two or three pounder like a jack, I'd be very surprised. 
I'm going to drop it down there close. Right guys, I just have a first take there. Check my drag and good job. Ah, small one. Small one. A lot of snags in here, I've got to be careful. I know this rod's gonna be up to it. Up snags. Oh I see a tree branch down. Yeah, come out, come out. Right, right, right. But he's toast. In fact, I've got to swing this one. There we go. There we go. Ah, first bike of the day on Sprat on the mini spin rod. There you go. Not a big fish. But it shows you it works. On the mini spin rod, bit of fun. A little bit pushed around the snags, so I'm going to watch that a bit. Let's get this one back, see if I can find you a bigger one. There you go, another small one just by that tree. Here's another little tip if you're using these, these small rods. They're very short, six feet long, so you need to get right down on the water's edge. And for that reason, I'm wearing waders, because I'm not going wading in eight or 10 feet of water, but I want to get right down to the edge. And if I do get a decent fish, I can stretch out like this and try and lever it round. But I'm going to try and poke around in that hole down there. Let's hope I don't go in. Man, this was hard work today. A little bit of rain out yesterday has colored it up. It's been tough, I've got to take. I'm going to wind down, I suspect it's probably another small one, and give him a little dig, a little wake up. Cool! He's on. Yeah. Oh, he's coming, it seems like a small fish. Oh, no, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not bad. Net, net, net. Oh, I have to change the camera angles, guys. It's not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. With this little rod. Oh, come on. Where is he? He's there somewhere. There he is, he's coming up, he's coming up, he's coming up. Come on. Oh, he's woken up now. Come on, fish. Come. Oh, there he is. Oh, beauty, beauty, beauty. Beauty. This is what you call a bit of sport on light tackle. No, it's not light tackle, the line's good. But... Come on. Let's get down there. Try not to go in. It's about 12 feet deep down there. How 
Oh, the hook's hanging there. The hook is hanging there, you can see it. Just hanging out. But he's toast. He's in. Who'd have thought it on that little rod like that? But I'll tell you what, I think I got him quicker than that big one. That's a fresh in there. Oh, yeah, nice fish. A nice old fish. There we go. A nice fish. Let's get it up on the mat and I'll show it to you. Yeah. There is the tiny rod and reel, and there, folks, yes, is a very nice pike of about, you tell me, ladies, nine, ten pounds, on that tiny, tiny little rod. Doesn't even, well, it doesn't even throw an ounce in weight. Beautiful fish, that one. Right, that's that out of the way. I'm going to try and go one, one lighter and use the spiral graphite, which is a toothpick. Let's see what we can do to get this one back. One last look and let's get it back in the water. Nice fish. Just look at the camouflage on that one, it's just resting there. You would never know it if you were a roach and that thing was laying camouflage in amongst a weed bed with all those mottled colours, you get nailed in a flash. You wouldn't even see him coming. Let's give him a little poke with a landing net and he's going to be away. Look at that. Right, let's get the light rod out. All right, guys, I've got another one. Got another one just taken on the spiral graphite. I'm just praying he's going away from this snag before I strike him. Here we go. Let's check the drag. Wind down. He's on. He's on, he's on, he's on, he's on. Come on, there he comes. He's out in the middle. Just goes to show you, you don't really need these big rods. This is the fourth pike. Well, dare I say I haven't lost any, but I should never say, never say that. Never say never in fishing. Seem a bit more drag. Beautiful bend in a rod. Lovely bend. Just absorbs everything. He's on the surface, is he gonna jump? No, let's get him. Well, I did say it was small, but there you go. Five pike now on those light tackle rods. Last knockers, right down the bottom. Hopefully, oh, fish on. And a snag. He's there. Oh, 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 careful. 
Careful, let's not lose him, boys. Woo! What you got light tackle for? But not light line. Oh, let's get him out the side. He's gone out in the middle now, so a little bit lucky. He says, tentatively, tree roots everywhere as usual. Come on. So jump, he's gonna jump. That's some fun on these rods. Let's get him netted. Now get rid of those test curve rods, he said, falling down the back. <laughs> get rid of those test curve rods with three pound written on them, two pound written on them, one pound written on them. This thing casts under and out. I've got a good scrap, brilliant fight, and there we go. There's the fish, so why are you using heavy tackle? Heavy line, yes. Heavy rod, no. Six foot spinning rod, get yourself some fun. That's a totally awesome episode of Tangled Nets. There we go. Another pike, no giant, I don't know, five, six pounds. That's six now, up to what, nine, ten pounds on those little mini spin rods. It's the way to go. Another edition of totally awesome pike fishing. And you know the same by now. It's not dark, I've got some scratch left. My wife has a phone, I'm staying out. Right guys, don't switch off just yet because we have been so successful with our full range of all round fishing videos, we've actually got people now going out making their own video channels can you believe and one of these is called river fishing fun we're going to give him a shout out check it out and have a look at it it's a young guy starting off his own we're started up we're not young well i'm not anyway look give him a bit of a help we all need some help check out his video channels see what you think and don't forget totally awesome fishing is the best channel around